All right, good morning, guys. Happy Saturday if you're here watching us live. Uh, we're at Total Row Buckhead. My name is Elliot. I will be the head coach today. With me, I've got one of our great other coaches, uh, Coach Dylan. He's going to be assisting me. We have a row 30 on hand today. It's going to be a great class. I'm going to talk a little bit more about what we're going to do and what we're going to accomplish today, but we are going to start with a nice five minute approximate warm up here. So whatever rower you've got in front of you, no problem. We're going to teach to anything here. I'm using a water rower, but you can use whatever you'd like at home or at the gym or wherever you're watching this. But we're going to start nice and slow here, like always. So I want you to put those feet up. I want you to pull those straps nice and tight. Make sure that monitor is turned on. And we are going to begin with our warm-up. So go ahead, come up to the catch. Nice, easy overhand grip. And let's go ahead and get started. So in our warm-ups, there's really two things we're trying to accomplish. First is we just want to wake up. We're just warming up the body. We're warming up the mind. So we are going very, very easy. If you look to your monitor, whatever you're using, and you find that stroke rate, the number of strokes you're doing each minute, we should be somewhere maybe around 20, you can be even lower. Our power level should be at an absolute minimum. You are literally just floating back and forth here. So we're waking up our mind, we're waking up our body, turning things on. The second part of our warm up is thinking about our form. So with your form, we want to come up, we want to have a nice strong posture up into the catch. Dylan, you can go ahead and keep rowing for me. If you haven't rowed quite as much, the posture looks a little like this. We want those shins straight up and down. We want those arms nice and long. We want easy overhand grip. Chest should be forward, coming up into, those, uh, into your quads. We always want to start through the legs. So everything is going to push straight back under the feet. I don't want to see you throwing the shoulders. I don't want to see those arms breaking early. What I want to see is the chest stay forward, the arms stay long, and I want to see a big pop through those feet. Now Dylan's staying nice and easy, nice and slow. Remember, we're still warming up, but when we get into the class, that's what we're going to work on, is a big power push back. So those legs build the momentum. Once those knees get almost all the way down, we're going to start to pull those shoulders back. Shoulders now move behind the hips as we hinge back. And then finally those arms, hands pull right into the sternum. Core is nice and flat to the ground. Legs, core, arms. It is a smooth, powerful push straight back. That's the power phase. We are not done. So what I don't want to see in class is you doing a beautiful push and then just collapsing up to the front into the catch. We stay back here. We go exactly opposite. So knees stay down. That's your cue on the recovery. The hands drift forward, arms, core. My shoulders come in front of my hips. You should be able to see that handle has moved in front of my knees. Once that handle is moved forward, that is when those knees bend. We come right up to the catch. So two key tips here. If you haven't rowed quite as much, if you've rowed a million times or you've been in studio with us, you're just like Dylan Hill up here. You're just turning on the body, getting a little more power, a little more speed, but you're going nice and easy. The rest of us, we're thinking of two things. We always start with those feet, so we push big back through the feet to start, and then when that hand, handle touches your sternum, I want you to punch those hands straight out long. Do not let those knees climb up on you where you have to rodeo over and fall back, okay? So feet first, hands first. Feet first, hands first. It's legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. So we're about three and a half minutes in, and let's start getting a little bit more serious here on our warm-up. So I'm gonna start drifting up to 24 strokes per minute, and I'm gonna start adding a little bit of power behind my stroke. Now as I do that, I'm getting back quicker, which means I need to start slowing down on my recovery. This is called the ratio of your stroke. It is the timing back to the timing forward. To be a good, efficient rower, you want that as wide as you can possibly get it. So as fast as you can back, slow as you can forward. 
We're at 24. We're starting to add some power. Let's step up two more on our uh, strokes per minute. We'll go to 26 and two. Next stroke, 26. Now I am doing my best to hit these rates. I've got Dylan here helping me out. You're welcome to sync with me throughout the class. I might need some air breaks. I'll take a little stop up in the catch. You can stay with Dylan. We got about 30 more seconds. We'll take a one minute break and then we'll get started with the class. Let's go up one more level. Two, one. Let's go 28. So nice, strong strokes here. Your split time. Time for 500. Should be the lowest you've seen today. So we're going to re-rack and set up our first set. In three, in two, in one. Good. So we're going to re-rack if you would like. Feel free to keep rowing nice and easy. Warm up done. Our first set today, six minutes long. If you have the ability and you like to, you're welcome to set your own monitor. It'll be six minutes. It will be a nice, simple power set. We're gonna do two ladders. We will begin at 22, we'll go up, we'll reset back down, we'll go up again. Today's class has a power set, a mix set, and a speed set, and then a little challenge at the end. So, 20 seconds. We will begin at 22 with tremendous ratio. So hard, hard, hard as we can back very, very slow up. We're gonna go in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna be on these rates. Let's get after it, guys. Let's have a great class today. We're going in three, two, one. Good, so big back and then slow up. Big push, slow up. So that big number on my monitor, you're looking for your strokes per minute. It's the one that should be close to 22. It should not be a time should be around 22. If you haven't rowed as much, maybe you're on a different machine, just stay with us. We're gonna be on the rates. So I've got one eye watching that big number, 22. I've got my other eye watching my split time. Now when we start to step up, every two we add on our stroke rate, we need at least five seconds down on our split time. So we're at 22. We're gonna go to 24 in two strokes, one stroke. Now, our return to the catch is what adjusts. The big number dr drifts a little higher. Our recovery shortened. That split time has to come down when we add big numbers, when we add those big numbers, the strokes per minute. Good, we're 24 here. Remember, two ladders in this set. Good. So power check, give me a little more back, a little harder, a little faster. If when you add that power, you start to see your big number drift higher. You have to slow the recovery. Do not slow that drive. Let's go two, one, let's find 26. Good, split time's dropping. A little quicker change this time. We'll stop at 28 and we will reset down at the bottom. We'll only drop to 24 when we reset. That is also an optimal time to take a little break if you need it. Oh, good guys, come on. Big, big, big push. We're going up, three, two. Next row, two, eight, come on. Come on, good, that split time should be by far the lowest you've seen today. Good, hang in there for about 10 more seconds. We go to 24. 
in five. Optional break, three, two, one. Now just watch my recovery. Same push, slow. 24, same power. 24, so Dylan's gonna stay on this rate, two, four. What I don't wanna see when you drop is this push right here. We are not pushing slow. What changes that strokes per minute is the recovery. Remember your ratio. Widen the time. You want to fly backwards and then slow. We call it a silent seat, a ninja seat. Squeezing those hamstrings and glutes as you glide up and forward. Good, I'll be back on it. Let's step to 26 in two. One, a little more. Two more minutes, guys, and we got a break. 26. Come on. Dig, dig, dig in. You're trying to break this board. Again, if that strokes per minute goes too high, don't pull back here. Pull the, this back, that recovery. We have one minute, 30 seconds. Let's step again, two, one, 28. Come on, come on, dig guys, let's go. Big, big push. So we are gonna have a one minute break when we hit the six minute mark, which is at 115. If you need a break, you take it. Dylan and I are going to do a little bit of a core challenge during that break in the first part, and then we'll stop. One minute. If you can, let's go a little more. 30. If you can't, you stay at 28. Form and power are the name of the game of this first set. Come on. Good, let's have a little bit of fun here to finish this. Both of your eyes, find your split time. Don't care about that strokes per minute. I want you to peel off three to five seconds in three, in two, in one. Let's go, come on. You can push a little higher if you want to break sink, that's fine. Get that split time down. Good, 10. Good, Dylan. Hang in there. Five, we got an optional core challenge. Three, two, one. Nice, re-rack. Now what I want you to do is re-rack. Sit up tall for me. Take those hands right out to the side. And I just want you to start to lean backwards. Breathe. And now hold here. You're about 45 degrees. Take that chest. Go down, about another inch or two. Ooh, here come the shakes. Let's go back up an inch or two. Two, one, good, lean forward. Coming to your break here. 30 seconds, we're gonna go now to a seven minute set. One more minute. This is gonna be mixed. We'll do this as an inverse ladder. When I reset us to the top, we are gonna reset into a sprint. So we're gonna have some really unsustainable pace. We're going in 10 seconds. 28 synced on us at power in three, two, one. So 28, I'm gonna find that right here. Let's see how quickly I can get there. Now what we're gonna do is quick changes as we go down. And again, when we reset back up, we will reset into a full sprint. So 28 is about to become 26. Do not slam on brakes. Remember, only change the recovery. In two, in one. Now, recovery just barely slows. Give me more power. Good, 26. Your mental cue when we drop is make that first stroke the hardest one you can. That will train your mind to not think lower stroke rate easier. 
24 and two. One, a little slower, big kick. Come on, break that board, guys. Big, big push. Now, we are gonna reset at a full sprint. 28 plus, you're gonna break sync. I'm gonna give you about 15 seconds, and then you're gonna meet me back at 28. All right, let's get ready, Dylan. Big push, three, two, one. Come on, let's fly, guys. Big, 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 you're watching that split time. Come on, come on, come on. Push, Dylan, push, 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 push. That split time is falling, falling, falling. Hold it. Settle in at three, at 28. One, good. 28, power, come on. Don't lose it, don't lose it here, 28. So this is a set, we're mixing this power and speed. And let's find 26, right here, a little slower. So just as we try to drop the split time by five seconds, when we add two to the stroke rate, let's go to 24. Three, two, one. So 24, when we drop, only let your split time rise by five seconds. If you need a break, right here. The rest of us, power 24. 10 seconds, see what you got Dylan. I want that split time on the floor, as low as it will go. Three, two, one. Let's go, come on, slam the gas. Push, 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 push. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eat it up, eat it up. It's real short, real short. Settle at 28, three, two, one, I'm catching Dylan right there from the back. 28 with power if you can manage. Come on. Come on. One of the best parts about rowing with ratio is a longer time to recover and breathe. Let's go to 26, Dylan. Three, two. We're gonna pull back just a little, little bit. First stroke, extra hard. Good, hang in there guys. We have about three minutes left. We've got about two more of these. Remember, this is set two of three. We're getting there. We are already over that halfway point. So hang in there. Take your breaks at 24 if you need it. And two, one, down to 24. If you don't need it, push hard and slow. Good, stay with it, Dylan. When you come up to that recovery, make sure that chest is continuing to get forward. When we start to get real fast, you're gonna have a tendency to sit up tall or worse, to sit back. When that handle hits, remember, knees down, hands reach, chest forward. All right, you ready? Let's hit the floor again. Unsustainable pace, three. Two, come on guys, give it to me here. One, let's go, slam those feet, huge kick and go. Come on, I'm with you on this one, come on. That big number, your strokes per minute is anywhere you want it to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one, amazing, let's settle in. I'll catch you in the back, Dylan. We're at 28 with some power. Come on, guys. Can you give me one more? Just one more. We got a minute and a half. It's easy, right? So, let's start to peel off some of the power we're working on. So, we're at 28. Let's drop to 26 in two. One. Dylan, take off about maybe half the power you got right now. So this is about like how we would recover in a repeat set. But we're watching our form. 
Eyes are on the monitor. I'm at 26. I'm not pushing hard, but I've got an okay split time. But I know it's about to go a whole lot lower. I want to find 24. In three. In two, this will be the bottom. 124, low power. Everybody, I want to pull the power back. Breathing. We're going to hit 20 seconds. You are going to unload, unload, unload. No core after this. Full one minute break. Five. Come on. Three. Two. One. Let's go. 20 to a break. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is completely unsustainable pace. That big number, 30 plus. Split time is down. Come on, one more. A little lower, a little lower. Three, a little lower. Two, one. Yes, good. You guys can do it. We got one minute. Air, 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 air. Nice. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Fun. I hope you guys can hear this rower over here. <laughs> that one's really nailing it. We're going all speed to finish. We will begin with a 30 second easy row. If you need to stand up, do it real quick. I'm gonna get my water. We will be doing one minute off of 30, two times. And then we're gonna go 30 off of 30 to finish. Quick break, fun challenge. Seven minutes again, 20 seconds, last big set. All speed. You do not have to worry about the synchronization aspect as much in this. We are solely watching that split time. Recovery to begin. Easy strokes, 24-ish. Three, two, one. So we're around 24. This is our recovery. We're not super concerned. What I am concerned about is your form. When we start doing these, where we hammer the gas for a long period, your form is gonna really start to get wonky and deteriorate. Every time we hit a recovery, think about it. Legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. One minute hard. First level, Dylan, 28 to 30. Three, two, one. Now, full power, 28 to 30, but hold it here. Don't go all the way up. We're gonna step in three increments. This is level one. One minute. If you were to look at that split time as a profile, it leveled down and we're holding. It'll then level again and then level down again and we'll hold it there. Find your big number. Whatever it is right now, your strokes per minute, add two. Little more, little quicker. You should be able to see that split time drift down too. Good, come on guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Final burst, look to your split time. Three to five seconds down, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the finish. Good, five. Back to recovery in three, in two, 24. Slow down, check the form. Are we leading with our feet? Is our chest forward? Are our arms long? When we get to the back, is our core flat or our knees down as we recover? 10 seconds, big 10s coming in this round. Start same level, three, 28 to 30. One, let's go, come on, 28 to 30. Now, a big 10 is, I'm gonna call go. You are gonna do the 10 hardest strokes you can ever do in your life. And then you come back and you finish right here. 28 to 30. Get ready. Come on, imagine somebody pulling ahead of you. You're about to get them back. Three, I want big tens. Two, one, let's go. Everything, everything, everything. Come on, 10 times. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you finish early, you come back to 28 to 30. Don't stop the repeat early. 10 seconds. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're going in five. We'll take that break. 
three, two, one, 24. We're now switching 30 on, 30 off. 30 second pace, unsustainable. For you guys that know, race pace, especially your 2K, but even your 500, this has got to be way below that rate. Just looking at split time. Full sprint, 30 seconds, no holding back. Three, we got four of these. Two, one, come on. Everything you got, 30 seconds, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You guys are doing fantastic, give me 15, come on. Can you give me one more second lower? Split time, come on, eight, seven, come on. Hang in there. Three, you got full recovery, two, one, pull all of it back. Clean that stroke up. Guys, we got about five more minutes in this class. When you think of that benefit level you're getting, we're up at the top right now. Remember why you sat down today, whenever you're taking this, if you're on a recorded class, give me a good one right here. Smash this, Dylan. Three, 30 seconds, all out. One, next stroke at the catch. Go, come on, 30. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That number, our strokes per minute is high, but it is under control. It is more important to push, 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 push to those feet in five, in three. And we're on a recovery, nice. Two more guys, come on. Two more. For any of you who have run track or maybe done MPE, when you run a mile, it's four laps. Always. The hardest lap is not number four, it is number three. Four is easy, you got that final push. I want this to be the best one on number three. Three, come on. Two, one, go. Lowest split time. Big number right now is meaningless. I want split time. On the floor, on the floor, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. About halfway, you hit your bottom, and now hold it. Just hold it right there. Do not let it go up for one second. Ten. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five. Three. Two. We're on our final recovery. Come on, Dylan. Hang in there, man. See, now, it's only downhill. You just did your best one. Get that adrenaline. Feel it. If you've got music going at home, uh, come on. Last one, and you have a break. Let's do maybe a little bit of optional core again after this one. If you need, you can just get your water. Three minutes left in class. Three, come on. One, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jam those feet with everything you have into this board. Come on. Come on, get back. Get back, get back, get back. Come on. Your friends and family in the other room should be like, what the hell's going on right now? Your neighbor should be hearing you. Come on, come on, come on, five. Come on for three, two, one. Right here, hang in there guys. Dylan, you take your break. Core, if you need, he's been killing it today. We're gonna drift back and we're gonna hold. Let's come up, chest goes to the ceiling. Let's go back down. Let's go a little lower. Three, two, I got the shakes, two, up, stretch. We have a minute and a half to 30 minutes. I want you to go 30 seconds, that's it. I want you to see the absolute minimum split time you can find in 30 seconds. So I'll time it for you, you don't need to set anything. We'll go. In about 30 seconds, I want to give you a little longer break here if you like your easy strokes right now. But this is a 30 second push 
You're just watching your split time. Everything you can to find a minimum today. Minimum split time. Challenge yourself. If you come into our classes in studio, you know we like to go hard at the end with these challenges, races every day. We're not done. I still got 45 seconds of your time. We're going in 15. I want everything. Unload it. Unload it. Let those neighbors know that you're working today. Five seconds. Everything on you. Three, two, one. Let's go. Everything you got. Come on. 30 seconds. You're just going for that one instant to get the absolute lowest split time you can. It's going to keep going. Give it a second. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. Come on, Dylan. Good. You're seeing he's rocking that rower side to side. Almost there. In 10. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're done in 5. In 3. In 2. In 1. We re rack. We're done. Yeah. No one's taking apart the studio in here. <laughs> he's working hard. You guys worked hard. Awesome. For those of you that got up with us on Saturday morning, hell yes. Whenever you're watching this recording, hell yes. 30 minute class. So, give me a few more seconds of breath. This is what happens, you walk your rower off to the side. Let's do some stretches here. Go ahead and take your feet out of wherever you are. I want you to slide forward. I want you to grab either your toes, you have a wood block on the water rower, the Concept 2 has got the foot plate as well. Just grab something and start to slide the seat back behind you. And we're feeling that hamstring pull. This is my absolute favorite stretch because this is the moment when you start to realize that you are done. And your heart rate is now going that way instead of this way. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Let's go ahead and sit up tall, let's twist. One hand, grab back behind you any way you can. And I want you to get a nice twist. Now don't hold your breath while we're stretching here. Rowing, one of the best, if not the single best thing you could ever do in the fitness world. Gets the cardio, it gets the muscles, and by doing that, let's switch sides. It sends your heart rate through the roof. So when we hit these stretches, do not hold your breath. You gotta start getting that oxygen back in through the system. I'm proud of you guys today. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. Let's do those hips. Really important for rowing. Figure four. If you like, you can do this on the floor, but you're just going to a figure four. You're grabbing up in the shin and you're sliding forward. So this is our row 30 class of our Total Row Ready On Demand program. We've got 45 minute classes also available. We've got some beginner rows also available. We actually broadcast this one across Facebook, across our website, and will be recorded. So however you're with us, let's switch sides. We really appreciate it. Absolutely wonderful today. Wonderful, wonderful. Start thinking about what we're gonna do, how we're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna have one more stretch. You don't have to listen to me for a while. Let's do our runner's rower stretch. Go ahead and stand up. Some of you may like to do this from the ground. That's perfectly fine. If you can do it from your machine, the shin goes onto the seat and the seat slides back as we drift down. You can take a gentle hand, put it right up on the top bar if you have the top bar here and start to just slowly push back. We're feeling this through the hamstrings, through the glutes, through the quads, really opening those hip flexors. And this also helps with that back too. No matter how hard we try, we're gonna tend to hunch throughout the class and we need to open back up. Let's switch, final stretch. You guys are fantastic today, fantastic. So 30 minute class, five minute warm up. One minute breaks. We did six minutes power. We did a seven minute mix and we did a seven minute speed with a split time challenge. I think you guys can go enjoy your day, whatever you've got. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. If you can, share pictures of what you did, your monitor, how drenched you are in sweat. Share Elliott Smith 85, Total Row, 
total road buckhead. Send it, let us share them. You guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Thanks.